Hey guys, welcome to another battle vid. Now this one is between the Galaxy S20 FE, which was just announced, the S20 Ultra, the Note 20 Ultra, and the Z Fold 2. Actually, I recorded this earlier and I was gonna drop it, but Samsung released the S20 FE, so I had to add it to the mix, right? Because this is all about gaming and speakers. To find out the best with, of course, within the Galaxy or Samsung ecosystem. Now, the one thing that's common with all devices is that uh, they all have a variant of the Snapdragon 865 processor, uh, with, of course, the FE and the S20 Ultra having the 865, the Note 20 Ultra and the Z Fold 2 have the 865. Plus, in terms of RAM, they vary from between 6 to 12, depending on the device. The FE has either 6 or 8, then of course you go 12 and above with the Ultras and the Z Fold 2. Now, speakers, on the other hand though, you do have stereo speakers for all the devices, with the Z Fold 2 having a different type of stereo speakers. They have the same style bottom speaker on both the top and the bottom, which should give you more sound and also more oomph. So, without wasting any more time, Let's jump in and check out the speakers and then we'll find out where has the best sounding audio with all the devices. So it seems it's pretty clear that the Z Fold 2 has the loudest sound in pair of speakers and also probably sounds the best. Now, they all have Dolby Atmos, it was all turned on, and I liked what the Z Fold 2 did in terms of audio with the speakers. I thought the S20 Ultra came in second, uh, but I think the rest were all pretty close. And I was really impressed with the S20 FE as well and the Note 20 Ultra. Now, before we get into gaming, let's get a quick word from our sponsor in this video. So if you guys don't know, I've been a big fan and user of PIA or private internet access for quite a while. So when they reached out and said, hey, we wanna do something with you, I was like, yeah, sure, this is great because that's something I actually use. Now this is a VPN uh, that uh, works really well and I, you can use it on multiple platforms. I use it on my PC, Android device, iOS device, or even a Mac, doesn't matter, you can use it there. You also have the ability to connect to up to 10 devices at the same time, which is pretty cool. So something you can share with family. They've got over 70 servers and you can find the right server for you, especially if you're a gamer like me and you wanna play certain games that you can't play in your region, say PUBG Mobile, then you can find the right region, go ahead, connect, and you are good to go. So definitely use the link down below uh, you get uh, a third of the price, three months free. Just use the link and you can start gaming. Now, speaking of gaming, uh, 865 processor, 865 plus, how do they perform? Now, we know all devices have 120 hertz display. So taking a look at a game that takes advantage of, of course, that display, whether it's being on the Z Fold 2 inner display or any of the other devices. Now, Vainglory ran at 120 frames per second on the Z Fold 2, the Note 20 Ultra, and the Galaxy S20 Ultra. But on the Galaxy S20 FE, I wasn't able to have that experience and that I think that's just because the device is not yet and there was no update for it. So hopefully that will come soon. But 
Again, the display does support it. We just were able to get 120 frames per second. We're getting standard 60 frames per second, but that's just what happened. Now, when it came to, of course, some performance, we take a look at PUBG Mobile. Now, PUBG Mobile, all devices are running the latest update of PUBG and running at the highest settings, which is that, you know, ultra, um, you know, um, ultra HD, ultra settings, which should give you some really uh, big push in terms of graphical performance. And we saw that across the board, about 47 frames per second for all devices, be it the Z Fold 2, the A65 Plus, Note 20 Ultra, the S20 Ultra, or even the uh, S20 FE. So same performance across the board. Now, when we switch it over, um, and we also gamed at uh, just a smooth extreme, they all went to 60 frames per second. So the performance is actually pretty similar across the board using, of course, any of these devices. Now, the one last thing we wanna check out, of course, is heat dissipation. How much heat is given up on, on this device? Now, this is where I found things quite interesting. I'll start off with the hottest device, and that was the Galaxy S20 FE. Yeah, the FE ran the highest temperatures about 104 degrees while playing PUBG, and that's something that I found quite interesting. Samsung didn't mention any special cooling, so I can give them you know, a pass on that. While the Note 20 Ultra with the special cooling went up to 103 degrees, so that was quite interesting. I don't know if it's the copper cooling or it's a different one, I am not sure, but that's what I got with my readings while actually gaming on PUBG for roughly an hour or so on, on any of the devices. Now, the next was the S20 Ultra with about 98 to 99 degrees in terms of temperatures. Uh, and I was quite impressed to see, to see those temperatures. And the Z Fold 2, yes, you know what? If you're gonna be the most expensive device, have the best cooling possible. It was about 97 degrees. I was really, was really happy to see that there. And uh, I think it gives you a good idea, a good sense of what you're getting. So as we look at all the devices, they all perform really well in terms of gaming. Uh, they all have decent, decent speakers, uh, actually good speakers. Uh, the Z Fold 2 has the best sounding speakers, but gaming performance is the same across the board. While the, S, uh, the S20 FE does have some really good, solid game performance, but it also runs the hottest as well. Hopefully this gives you an idea of what type of Samsung device you have, and if you're looking to pick one up, what it actually gives you. If you're a gamer and you're thinking, look, I don't wanna spend a lot of money, the S20 FE really hits the mark, and wants to give you the same kind of performance, just know that it's gonna run a little warmer than its other counterparts. But hey, look, is it, is $400 worth it? Hey, could be for you and probably is for a lot of people. Anyway, guys, thank you very much. Don't forget to like and share this video. Definitely check out our sponsor again for this video, uh, PIA, Private Internet Access. Use the link down below to sign up. And if you have any questions, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and uh, always enjoy your entertainment.